Hey, it's Kat from Fit Kitty Tries, and today I have a really quick video to introduce my new product, which is my SC GST HST calculator. If you watched my last video, which was basically everything you don't need to know about Etsy HST and GST, which like I say don't need to know because ignorance is bliss, I guess, right? But of course, being me, I had to know. Um, today I'm going to be showing you the Etsy GST HST calculator I created where all you have to do is copy and paste your order report into this Excel or Google Sheets file. And what it will do is it will calculate how much GST you collected on all of your sales if you are registered for GST in Canada. Just because of how Etsy does GST, they don't charge the customer GST. They expect you to factor in the price of HST or GST and include it in your product price, which is annoying for one thing, um, but it's also difficult for you to account for um, because you basically need to figure out what percentage of the sale was GST or HST to determine how much GST and HST you've collected. There's no easy way to determine that. There's no report that says this is how much GST, HST you collected for this year. So I've created a nice and easy spreadsheet. Honestly, this is the easiest spreadsheet that I've created in terms of use, where all you have to do is run a report off of your Etsy dashboard and paste the data in and you get the final number, which is like, this is how much GST HST you report as having collected this year to the Canada Revenue Agency. So I hope you find this helpful. Before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed, especially if you are a Canadian entrepreneur and have questions about GST, HST, taxes, or running your business, and specifically how to run a small business on Etsy. Okay, so I'm gonna preface this video by saying that you only need this spreadsheet if you are registered to collect GST, HST in Canada. If you're not sure if you're registered, let me preface this again by saying if you do less than $30,000 in annual revenue, that's revenue, not profits, so your sales across Etsy and any other platforms for your business, then you don't need to register for GST. It's only once you hit that threshold of $30,000 or above that you do need to have a GST number and you do need to start collecting GST from your customers and sales and then remitting them to the Canada Revenue Agency at the end of the year. So that's what this spreadsheet is for, is for those people who have a GST ID number. And if you have a GST ID number, you also need to link it to your Etsy account. So under the taxes section of Etsy, you should have your GST number set up there. And so if you you have those two things you have a GST number and you have your GST number hooked up to your Etsy which you should have if you have a GST number it should be attached to your Etsy then you need this spreadsheet to figure out how much GST you collected this year from your sales Okay, so once you purchase the spreadsheet, you'll have access to it in a Google Sheets format or in an Excel format. If you're using the Google Sheets format, you will need to make a copy of it before you can edit it. So you'll go to make a copy and save it to your own drive so that you can edit it. The Excel file will allow you to edit it easily anyways. And then you can see here, there's already some test data in here. So these are all Canadian sales that I made up. They're test customers. And you can see here, there is a really nice and easy to read sheet that shows you exactly how much GST HST you collected for the entire year, as well as the subtotals for each province based on the different GST HST rates. But this is the only number you need to know. Additionally, you might be wondering how many sales this sheet can account for. You can do up to 50,000 sales. So if you did 50,000 orders this year, well, congrats to you. And if you did more than that, wow, amazing. But you're gonna need to do the spreadsheet a couple times. Um, I think 50,000 is pretty generous though. So I'm gonna show you how to pull the report that you need in order to paste it all here and really easily generate your total GST, HST collected in a matter of a few clicks. So the report you're gonna need is your orders report from Etsy. So if you're on your Etsy store dashboard here, you'll go to settings and then you'll go to options to bring you to this page here. When you go to options, you're gonna to wanna to go to download data and you get a few options for different reports that you can pull. So we scroll down here and it asks you what type of CSV you would like to download. The one you want to download is orders, not order items. And then to download all orders in a year, leave the month unselected. So I'm gonna choose the year 2023. 
and then go ahead and click download CSV. It's going to download and save that to your computer and then you can open it. So once you open your Etsy orders file, it's going to look something like this. I've collapsed some of the columns so that I'm not sharing any personal data with you and it goes down for a bunch. So in order to copy all of it, you want to click here on this little triangle thing, which is going to select all. And then you can right click and copy or you can do control C. And then to paste it, you're going to do the same thing, which is click on that top square there so that you're selecting the entire sheet and we'll go control V. Again, it may be a lot of data to be pasting, so it could take a moment. If for whatever reason it's not pasting and loading, you can always paste like half of it and then do another half and break it at a certain number value, but it should look something like this. So when you paste it, you should paste over all of these titles. You're just pasting over the entire sheet again by clicking on that little triangle in the top and pasting it here. And now when we go over to GST HST report, you can see all of your totals have automatically been calculated. So my total is $255.08 for GST and HST collected. And so what this spreadsheet does is it basically goes through all of your orders and it looks at whether or not it was a Canadian order. And then once it determines whether it's a Canadian order, it goes, okay, well, what province were they from? So you can see here on some of them that it stayed the province. Then it's like, okay, well, if it's from Alberta, put the total order value in this column. If it's from BC, Manitoba, etc., etc. And then these top boxes here calculate exactly how much GST or HST was collected from your sales. So that is the number. It makes it so much easier than trying to figure this out anyway. And I don't know why Etsy doesn't just provide a simple report like this, but you can grab my spreadsheet in the link below. So I hope you found this helpful. I know there is a lack of information on the internet about Etsy Canada and taxes and obligations. So if you want to learn more, make sure you are subscribed to my channel as well as my blog, fitkittytries.com. And if you haven't yet, grab that spreadsheet below. It's gonna make your life so much easier, especially if you don't have your own accountant. And even if you do, your accountant's gonna ask for information that maybe you're not even sure how to access because Etsy doesn't provide a report and it's a really simple report that they should provide. It's like essential. Um, but Etsy is not very good at providing the reports we need that if you have an accountant or bookkeeper they're gonna ask for so I've got some information available for you there and this is basically obligation number one of two of being registered to collect GST or a business registered in Canada with a GST number so the most important thing you need to do is tell the Canada Revenue Agency how much GST or HST how much tax you collected on this year's revenue. So you report your revenue and then you also report how much of that revenue is tax that you collected and need to report and remit, you need to pay to the Canadian government. So part two of that or obligation number two would be how much tax you paid on eligible expenses that you can subtract from the tax you owe to the government. So these are also known as input tax credits. There's different tax benefits for individuals and businesses, and this can basically lower the amount that you need to pay to the government so that you don't actually have to be out of pocket that amount as opposed to paying it all to them and then them giving you your input tax credits back. You just pay the difference. So. Um, for that, you'll need to find your eligible business expenses that you paid tax on, specifically GST or HST on. And we'll get into that in a later video as well as on the blog. But if you want to be the first to know about these kinds of things, Fit Kitty Tries blog is the place to be. You will be the first to know about these different details, the first to get tutorials and guides for things like how to run your business.